Come on, you can do it. So how was your run? Oh, it was great. Yeah? This is a third grade class. We may make it through the weekend after all. Now, how come I never had a teacher as pretty as you when I was a kid, huh? Say, listen, if we're gonna make that early show, we better get a move on. I'll, uh, I'll meet you out front, say, 20 minutes? Sure. Great. Well, Lundy, now I understand why you don't take showers. You get out, dry yourself off, and three minutes later, you're all wet again. It's good for you, life animal. Cleans your pores. Of course, you could go back to Chicago. I'm sure those mob boys would like to give you a few more pores. All available units. Armored car robbery in progress. Corner of Via and Convair. We're six minutes away. 9214, we're responding out. You ever seen the inside of a man's head before? You got two seconds to open the door, your buddy's dead. Roger, Yeah, we're out of it. The suspects are in a four-door light blue sedan. They're heading south on Baytown Road. The truck came out of nowhere, jackknife in front of us. Sam was concerned. Thought the guy had a heart attack or something, so I got out to check it out. Is that when you saw the shotgun? Yeah, and when he hit the silent alarm. How much money were you carrying? close to half a million, but they didn't get a dime. Sam should have given them the money. It wasn't worth his life. I'll tell you, uh, run it through. There's something about that ammo that rings a bell. Here. Who is that girl? Her name's Sarah Kelsey. Annie's niece. Says she's a rape victim. Sergeant Lafayette, you're Sarah Kelsey. Look, if I'm bugging you, just say the word and I'm out of here, okay? You just uh, look like you could use somebody to talk to, you know what I mean? Do you want me? I uh, could get a woman cop in here to take your statement. I've already done that. She said she was sorry, but uh, she didn't think y'all could help. Sarah. I was told you were raped. I was. Has a woman ever said no to you? Yeah. What happened? I backed off. The man I had a date with didn't... The bastard raped me. And the only price he'll ever pay was dinner and a movie. Sarah, I know what happened to you was wrong. But you have to press charges. <sighs> Lieutenant Beaumont thought I should, too, but... Then she explained that cases like this rarely make it to trial. God. I don't know what to do now. Sarah... You owe it to yourself to try. If you don't, you'll be his victim every day for the rest of your life. You're a cop, Annie. You should understand. 
How many rape cases have you worked on? Hundreds. Yes, but this one happens to be my niece. I know. But we've got no evidence. If you could get me a doctor's report. So what's the label on Sour out there? Unfounded. How come? Her contributory behavior alone is enough to throw this case out of court. Well, I hear what you're saying, Lieutenant, but don't you think that's up to the DA? Joe, just think and listen for a minute, okay? Third date, two bottles of wine with dinner. She invited him to her apartment for a nightcap. She didn't ask him in to be raped. But the defense will say she did, Annie. Look at her. I'm just trying to save her from two trips through hell instead of one. I've seen it happen too many times. I don't think we can turn our backs on this one, Lieutenant. Look, Lafayette, I don't like it any more than you do. As a cop, I want to nail him. But I had to tell Sarah what she faces in that courtroom. Well, I think it's up to her, not us. That's what I told her. And if she decides to press charges, we'll bring him in. Got, Lindy. I knew that name all sounded familiar. Semi armored car, fake accident. Fits Ben Cochran and his boys. Yeah, Jesse James and half a dozen other Wild West cowboys. Yeah, well, they've been laying low since Cochran was thrown in the pen back in '82. I guess they got a little restless. All we're missing is John Wayne and the stagecoach. You well, know, maybe just the stagecoach. This thing will give you the facts, but when you want what's between the lines, Clinton Flowers. Mm hmm. What's that, something that grows down here? Only place to do grow. He was a Texas Ranger. He tracked Cochran for years, and just when he was about to catch him, for no apparent reason, he retired. I don't know why. It never made much sense to me. Maybe he ran out of silver bullets. Don't kid about what you don't know, Lafayette. Clinton Flowers was a class act. He devoted his whole life to the Rangers. He became somewhat of a legend, you might say. You still around? I expect we can find him. We're detectives, aren't we? I don't like it any better than you do. I'm just telling you how it is. Date rape doesn't hold much water when it comes to prosecuting. Forced sex is a crime, whether it's at knife point in a dark alley or on a living room couch on some date. Lafayette, I know you want to help the girl, but what do you think you can do? Give her a little support. Maybe she'll press charges then. You run a check on the guy yet? No priors, clean as a Boy Scout. Even if she's telling the truth, and I'm not saying she isn't, you still got to prove it. And right now, you don't have anything to make it stick. We're the cops. It's our job to make it stick. With what? It's her word against his. You don't have any physical evidence. She's been out with the guy before. They'll eat her alive on a witness stand. So you think I'm wrong? Most of the time. On this one, though. Look. I know things have got to change. And I know the only way they're going to is if more women come forward and testify. But right now, for Sarah, it's a two-sided point. And either way, she's going to lose the toss. Detectives uh, Lundy and Lafayama, HPD. You say Lundy? Yes, sir. Any relation to Tyler Lundy? He was my granddaddy. He's a good cop. Come from fine stock, son. 
Look, we just want to ask you a few questions about a case you worked on. Ah, uh, past don't interest me none, son. Only what I'm gonna have for supper, and I'm just about to go and get me and catch it. Ben Cochran's gang. Why don't you youngsters sit down and tell me what's on your mind? Army car was hit late yesterday. M.O. matched the Cochran gang. Thought there might be a connection. I think it's about time that his people ran out of money. Well, they didn't get anything this try. That figures, too. They could never pull off a complicated job without Cochran. He's the one with the brain. You the one who put him behind bars? Wish I had. I tracked that animal for two years. And just as I was about to nail him, the law ups and frees him. Yes, sir. Uh, you got any idea where we might start? I'll take you there myself. No, I think we'll handle this one alone, Tex. Department regulations, you being a civilian now. Being a civilian wasn't my idea. And I always kind of wondered how that came about. It's history. But I'll go to my grave, a Texas Ranger. But you made your point. You youngsters are interested in my memory. Not my assistants. If that bunch is back in business, the chances are they've come home, too. That'd be the Alamo Bar, corner of Travis and Polk. Much obliged. I suppose that's yonder, huh? Down the road a bit. Travis and Polk, right? That's what the man said. Gosh, no David Crockett, no Alamo. You sure we're still in Texas, Lundy? You know, Lafayette, I'm impressed. For a Chicago boy, you sure know your Texas history pretty good. The city has changed in 10 years. I don't think that retired Texas Ranger's been out of his rocking chair in 10 years. Did you see the look in his eyes? He's like a horse that's been put out to pasture before his time. Something's not right here. Yeah, your Texas Ranger lied to us. This is a waste of time. You saying the pace down here isn't fast enough for you? Uh-huh. Good. Maybe we're doing something right. Ninety-two fourteen. Go ahead, ninety-two fourteen. Yeah, uh, can you call up the liquor license board? See if there's been a transfer of license for the Alamo Bar and Grill. Over. Roger, ninety-two fourteen. Let's ride, Tonto. Come on out, Harris. I know you're there. Flowers, what the hell do you think you're doing here? Anything I please, son. I ain't got the law tying my hands no more. Harris! Hey, where you going? By the time we get to the gym, he'll be in Oklahoma. Well, senor, I hear what he say. I buy us all a soda pop. Did you know that guy killed somebody this morning, Flowers? No, I didn't. You got any idea where he's headed? No. You have no idea where any of the Cochran gang is, huh? Of course I do, and so do you. Cochran's in the Clark County prison. Say we bust him. Hey. He's one of us. Let's just let it slide this time. You could have got that guy, Lundy, if this old man hadn't sent us on a wild goose chase, OK? The man's got pride, Lafayette. That's something about Texas you don't understand yet. Just let me handle this, okay? I'm gonna look the other way this time. But I ask you another question, I don't want any convenient memory lapses, okay? Well, I guess I just took a minute there for my mind to sort of 
warm up. Just trying to get a line on him for you. The only line you ought to be worried about is the one on the end of your fishing pole. This case doesn't belong to you anymore, so stay out of it. Hey, I got no trails for you to follow. I'm sorry. You sure? Nothing on a new hit? Mm-mm. Nothing uh, solid. But when I do, I'll uh, drop you a quarter. I think I'll drop a quarter on my own. Call Clark County Prison. See, Joey. You got a minute? Yeah. That woman is carrying around the weight of the world on those wheels. Well, I guess she told you about her knees, huh? Yeah. And I have to say, it makes me sick to my stomach. But that's always the first symptom of injustice, isn't it? That's good. Nice shot, Annie. How are you feeling? You want the truth? I feel like I'm ready to kill somebody. I'm telling you, Joey, if anger was all I needed to put life into these legs, I'd walk out of here and I'd get that rapist myself. If Sarah would press charges, I could walk them back to you, Annie. Thanks. She's thinking about it right now. Maybe she needs someone to talk to? Well, I couldn't hurt. I just dropped her off at the gym. When I'm upset, I shoot pool and she works it out on the machine. OK, well, much obliged. We'll see you then. Annie? They're expecting us at Clark County Prison by 6 o'clock. You think maybe you can handle it on your own? There's something I got to do. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, excuse me, could I ask you a few questions besides the Lafayama HPD? Well, sure, what about? Ah, uh, your job, this place. Uh, it seems like you'd have a good view of everything that's going on here. <laughs> yeah, well, scenery is a benefit. To tell you the truth, I'd really rather have health insurance. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to talk to you about a couple of your members. Kurt Jackson? Oh, well, sure, yeah, I know him. Um, but he's not here today. How about Sarah Kelsey, then? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, there she is, the lady back there in pink. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Sarah. Remember me, Joe Lafayama? Yeah, sure do. Yeah, I'm a little surprised when Annie told me I'd find you here. Uh... Look. I'll be damned if I'm going to let him take this away from me, too. I can't change what happened. But I have friends. There's counseling. I can get through this. What about pressing charges, then, Sarah? I go back and forth on that. Oh. Maybe Lieutenant Beaumont's right. You know, if I'm going to lose anyway, why torture myself? So other women won't have to go through it, too. Give the system a chance, Sarah. What happens if I do? There'll be a preliminary hearing to see if it goes to trial. And if it goes bust? At least it will be on his record. Look, I know this is a lot to ask, but... You couldn't keep me away. I thought we had a deal, Flowers. We do. I was just trying to help you out. Cochran's not talking. Old man's telling the truth. For once. Forget about him. He doesn't carry a badge anymore. 
You work with me, I'll see what I can do about cutting you a deal. Hmm. Will you mind explaining what a couple years off of forever is going to get me? Well, forever's got to pass one day at a time, Cochran. Yeah. Well, I still ain't talking. What the hell are you doing here? History. Cochran's and mine. Well, it's time to forget about the past, Flowers. Can't forget unfinished business. Yeah. So that's what you can't get out of your system? Well, that's an interesting choice of words. The system. I got some unfinished business with it, too. You got a problem with the rules. That's what it is. I do now, since I went and changed them on me. How long you been a cop? Long enough to know when I'm being jerked around. Get used to it. When you're a cop, everyone jerks you around. The law, the public, the criminals, the courts. Don't leave out retired cops. Look, I went to bat for you. Don't make me sorry I did it. Listen, son. You stay alive long enough. The system's going to get you. And your partner, too. Flowers is back? Showed up over the Alamo, brought the cops down on the place. If it wasn't for the old man, they probably would have had me too. What the hell are you doing over there? Having a beer. We cannot afford to blow this again. All right, everything's all set for tomorrow. Now, this is the only chance we got at him. Levon. Call came in about an hour ago. Stolen semi, west side delivery. Got it off their lot last night. Well, if it's our boys, they probably got it stashed somewhere waiting for their next job. Yes, sir. Well, we're alerting all the armored car companies right now. Need a hand? Here's the list. <laughs> Start punching. with Laviama. Oh, he came in with the morning sun. Heard we were booking Kurt Jackson. Who? Suspect on the Kelsey case. I have to cover something with the lieutenant. All right. A little cream in that, huh? Nah. Really, you should have a little cream. What you doing, man? I said no. How about that? You do understand what no means. Hey. West Side Delivery just called. One of their drivers spotted the stolen semi. Let's roll them out there. See you in court, tough guy. Check the truck. Check the truck. Check. money you got inside, open the door before your friend's dead. An armored car robbery in progress, vicinity of Dylan and Glencrest. All available. Little lady, it's respond. gonna be a pleasure. Managed to get in my way again. I wish you'd just let this be, Flowers. You boys are making a big mistake here. The only mistake we made was not busting you in the first place. When are you gonna learn the days of one ride, one ranger are over? I can't cover your butt anymore. It's going behind bars. Well, ain't you gonna Mirandize me? Or is it only the criminals that have rights these days, son? You get all the rights you're entitled to. You have the right to remain silent. 
Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present. 9214, we need an APB on our Drake's armored truck heading west on Dillon Road. Suspects armed and dangerous. Out. Roger, 9214. Stand by for a transfer to Sergeant Hartung. Joey? Annie, what's up? Oh, they've moved the hearing up to this afternoon, 45 minutes to be exact. We just booked him. Jackson's father pulled some heavy weight at City Hall. Enough to smother charges? Oh, it could be. Listen, she said you wanted to be there. I'm on my way. through your police report. I see you stated that this was your third date with Mr. Jackson. Is that correct? Yes. And Miss Kelsey, where did you first meet Kurt Jackson? We met at my health club. The body connection? Yes. How many dates have you had with other men that you've met there? Objection. My client's past dating and sexual conduct is not relevant here, Your Honor. Sustained. Would you tell me what happened when Mr. Jackson brought you home on the night in question? I invited him in for a drink. What did you have in mind when you asked him into your home? We were having a good time. I noticed uh, several of your friends here today. I am right, those young ladies are your friends? Yes. You talk about things, share your lives? Yes. Did you ever talk about my client with them? Yes. Did you ever talk to them about wanting to have sex with my client? I didn't hear it from them. I know it because I'm a woman. Now, would you please answer the question and remember that you are under oath? Yes. I didn't hear you. Yes. What kind of birth control do you use? Objection. Irrelevant. It is relevant, Your Honor, and if you will allow the question, I have an offer of proof which shows her intent and state of mind. Overruled. Answer the question. A contraceptive sponge. And did you use this device before going out with my client? Well, yes, but what difference does that make? I didn't know how I felt. I wanted to be... Be prepared. Why did you wait three days to report that you were raped? I wanted to think about it. You had to think about whether you were raped or not? No, I, I, You I, never even went to a doctor. There's no proof that this ever happened, is there? He raped me, damn it. Maybe he did exactly what you wanted him to do. No, I wanted him to stop. I said no. Did you struggle with him? Did you fight? Did you kick? Did you punch? What? What did you do to stop him? I tried, but he was stronger than I. I was terrified. Your Honor, this is a waste of the court's time, and I ask for a dismissal. You may step down. It appears to me there's not sufficient evidence to transfer this case to the Superior Court. Herein, all charges are dropped and the case dismissed. This calls for a little celebration. I'm not in the mood. Well, that's what she said. Oh, will you relax? I was just trying to give you a little compliment. I thought you did a great job. I was just doing my job. Excuse me. No, Joey, let her alone. Maybe in a couple of days. Annie, you think she's going to be better in a couple of days? No, but she will learn to live with it. 
Sarah probably wasn't his first victim. And she won't be his last. Come on. He's guilty as hell. You know it and I know it. Yeah, but the law doesn't, Joey. Got dismissed. Jackson just walked away. And Sarah was cut to shreds. Your heart was in the right place, Joe. I should have listened to you, Lieutenant. Look, when she decided to press charges, I was glad to. It didn't do her any good, though, Lieutenant. Ah, but she brought him out into the open as a potential rapist, publicly. Look, I know how you feel. What can I say? The system just failed, man. You know, and I feel like, I feel like I gotta get him, like I gotta make him, make his life miserable somehow. Yeah. What's Tex doing here? He's in our custody now. Look, I didn't have any choice. They were gonna release him under his own recognizance. Not our custody, it's your custody. It doesn't work that way, Laviana. It does this time. I've got one cowboy partner too many. I don't need another one. What do you got against cowboys? Hey, Lieutenant, do I gotta play with this joker? I feel like I'm stuck in the middle of a, a B-Western or something. Chief's gotta win one once in a while. Good night. Damn it, Flowers, what the hell you think you're doing? Armored car didn't have any cash on it, huh? That's zero for two for Cochran's boys. They are really losing their touch. That's what's got me worried. They're not that stupid. Hey, just got the lab report on the semi. No prints, no resids, nothing inside. Except this and the guy that put him away. You gotta be kidding me. No, nope, he crawled in the back for a little morning snooze and slept through the whole thing. <laughs> Hey, where was the semi when you got in? Luana Road. They stole it from the other side of town. He must have crawled in after they'd ripped it off. Now, I want you to think, was the truck inside or outside? Uh, in. It's a big, big building. It's uh, uh, painted green. Luana Road. That could be the old Miller Dog Food Factory. It's been closed down for a couple of years. Are you telling me that that wasn't beef stew? I should have known better than listen to some drunk. Looks like that wine head may have had a few brain cells left after all. It's gotta be the place. Well, they're moving, so what are we gonna do with uh, the Lone Ranger here? Forget it, kid. This case was stolen from me once before. It ain't gonna happen again. Cochran case wasn't stolen from you. You gave it away 10 years ago. I can see you've been doing your homework. Yeah, I did a little digging while you were having your chat up there with the chief. So I planted some evidence on them. You broke the law. They were guilty as sin, and they were gonna get off scot-free. They got off anyhow, because you wouldn't trust the system to work. 
The point is, it didn't work. Sometimes the system helps the bad while it's hurting the good. But not this time. And this time, I'm going it alone. Flowers, you don't want to do this. Just toss me the keys. No way. Ranger wouldn't shoot a fellow officer. I've been waiting 10 years for this, son. You. When I find him, I'm gonna kill him. I gotta admit, I see the old man's point. He's frustrated. And believe me, after what happened in court today, I know exactly how he feels. Oh, that's great, Lafayette. You don't like what the law does, so you just take it in your own hands. Is that it? Right about now, yeah. Great. You end up like flowers. Washed up, bitter, forced retirement. Look, all I'm saying is I understand what's driving him. Because I'm almost there myself. Jackson is guilty of rape, and he's getting away with it. Don't even think it, Lafayama. Well, I wonder what Sarah Kelsey's thinking, Lundy. He hot-wired my truck. Where did he get the gun, Lundy? How do I know? You booked him. Like hell I did. Then who booked him? The chief cut him loose right off the bat. I never would have let him out of reasoning. You don't like the choices I make? Then don't run off in the middle of a case. What case? A bunch of cowboys tried to rob an armored truck. There's no money, so they steal a truck. Wait, 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 wait. Lafayama! What? They didn't want the money. Oh, they just want to go joyriding in an armored truck. Something like that. They stole that armored truck to break out Cochrane. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Oh, you told me? I told you. Lieutenant, Landy, line three. What do you got? Yeah? Uh-huh. What? Lafayette, I'm gonna cut that out. Uh-huh. She's calling Clark County Prison right now. You know, Lundy, if I'm right, we're gonna have to stop an armored car. We wanna speed them at their own game, why don't we? They're transferring him to the federal courthouse. He's testifying on a prison murder case. You mean right now? Even as we speak. I'll send some units to the courthouse. You meet them there. Well, under the circumstances, I think we might need a little help with that, Lieutenant. of a possible attempt to intercept and free inmate Ben Cochran. Proceed with caution. Respond, Units 9287 and 
Nice try. Want to assume the position? Got anything profound to say this time? Yeah, how long has it been since you had a tune-up on that truck of yours? Looks like I got in over my head this time, doesn't it? Oh, you slowed him down. Of course, 20 years ago, you'd have been able to handle that tank by yourself. I'm sorry, boy. I didn't do right by you. Pride's got a way of clouding a man's judgment. Yeah, but I learned something, though. I should have stuck with the system, son. Oh, I'd probably have lost a few, but in the long run, I'd have come out ahead. Come on, we better get you patched up. That old fishing hole looks like mighty good to me. Joe, are you busy? Mm -hmm. There are a couple of girls over there I'd like you to talk to. They want to see me? That's right. Thanks, Annie. Mm -hmm. Body connection, right? Yes, that's right. I'm Dan Wesley. And this, this is Amy Fields. And uh, we know that you tried to help Sarah Kelsey. And so we decided that we were going to come here. Jackson just to... did the same thing to us. What do you mean? I went out with Kurt. It was two months ago. Believe it or not, I even asked him out. He came over for dinner. Didn't even get the first course on the table when he was all over me. He raped you? In my own bed. You too? Yes. Why didn't you report this? Because I thought it was my fault. Your fault? Why? Why are you in fault? I don't know. I guess just because I was there. I mean, you know, men and women and mixed messages. I, I thought maybe I'd given him the wrong idea. I felt the same way. And then we heard about Sarah and the hearing. She's not crazy, Sergeant Lafayama. Now, I know we're a little bit late. But somebody's got to stop that man from doing it again. This will be my pleasure. Hey, Jackson. Remember me? Yeah. So what are you doing here? I came to arrest you for the rape of Diane Wesley and Amy Fields. Hell, I never did catch their last names. I mean, what is it with these women, huh? You go ahead and you give them what they want, and they want to turn around and cry rape. You only gave them what you wanted, Jackson. Oh, give me a break, will you? Look at them. Go ahead, look. Shoot, they're just advertising it. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me you wouldn't like to sample just a little bit of that stuff yourself, huh? They're not pieces of meat, Jackson. They're women. Same difference. You know where you're going, the boy's gonna feel the same way about you. Yeah. Well, let me tell you one thing. <laughs> easy, easy does it, Flowers. Major point, Lundy. Freedom is rights. There's a lady I gotta call. Let her know she's not alone. <laughs> 